Hello guys, this is Becca, and please excuse the camera layout. I have worked, and I'm still working, with this crazy camera, tripod and all, trying to find a good place to video my babies and I just don't have a good place to video them. But this here is my uh, the last video showing the different types of dolls that I have. Uh, I do have two dolls that I won't be showing as far as telling um, about them because they are offensive to some people but uh one of them i purchased when i first started collecting dolls another one i've not too long ago purchased but i purchased it because i wanted to check something out about it so i do have two mpk dolls so if that offends you i'm sorry i i try to stay away from them but like i said the first one was from when I first started collecting and didn't know anything about dolls and, and all of the things about, um, you know, the stealing sculpts from artists and stuff like that. It was all before I knew about that. And then the one that I have not too long ago purchased, I purchased it for a specific reason that I wanted to check something out. So, uh, one of them is in my curio cabinet which I have shown her before because she is one of the first dolls I purchased and <clears throat> she is uh, the reason I keep her I don't play with her I just keep her in my curio cabinet because she reminds me a lot of my great niece the way she smiles so she will be with me forever and always and the other is Tanner so if you ever see me role play with Tanner that will be my N, uh, N, NPK is that what it is um, boy doll because like I said I purchased him for a specific reason to check something out but um I'm not going to get rid of him I don't plan on just buying them actually I feel like you can buy the quality dolls from Paradise Galleries and Ashton Drake just as cheap as you can purchase the knock knockoffs What's the matter, Blake? Sorry, guys. What's wrong, my baby? Oh, it's okay. What's the matter? Oh. has a tummy ache, guys. Let's see if we can get him quieted down so we can do this video. You okay now, baby? Oh, you okay now? Okay. All right. So that's enough of those type of dolls. But now I want to share with you my silicone. Uh, I've already showed you my partial silicone that came from Ashton Drake. I shared her in the video, my Ashton Drake doll. So if you haven't seen that video, go back to it and uh, check out all of my Ashton Drake dolls. I also have one up that says my Paradise Gallery dolls. So that will show, show you all of my Paradise Gallery dolls. Uh, I have one up of... Um, my reborn dolls so check that out it will say all my reborn dolls and uh, this here is the only full bodied silicone that I have oh and I meant to pull up the website that I got him from uh, oh, I can't remember something silicone I'll have the link in the description below so you can go check it out. But um, I didn't purchase him from that 
link directly. I purchased him from an individual, but from all research, that is where he came from, um, is that, um, that website of Silicon Dolls. So, uh, anyway, we're going to get started. I want to change him in this video for you. Uh, <laughs> Guys, I am so sorry. I totally meant to write all these names down of these different sites so I could tell you the names of them. But like I said, I will put them in the links, in the description, the links of them in the description. But I purchased this little suit. I have a hard time buying clothes for Blake. That's what I named him. Because uh, he's, I think it's, he's a 14-inch doll. So he's even smaller than a preemie. Uh, so it's hard to find clothes for him. Well, I found this Etsy uh, shop that the lady makes doll clothes and she makes them for the 14 inch dolls also. She also makes them for up to like 20, 22 inches, something like that. Um, and she makes them for different type dolls, not, uh, I think. I think that's the one. I know I go on, I buy from several sites. But this particular one, she she's the only one I've seen that made makes them as small to fit reborns that makes them small enough for a 14 inch. So I purchased this. It has um little motorcycles all over it. It's like little puffy uh pants. It's so cute. Then it has this little um cream colored top that has uh, beige and blue stripes and the blue stripes looks like it's stitched and it is stitched but it's stitched in the material it's not you know they didn't stitch it after they got the material that was done in the material um, it snaps down the back and I've never put it on him before I just received it yesterday in the mail and so I wanted to try it on him and let y'all see and we'll find out if it's gonna fit yeah and if it does fit of course I'm sure it's gonna fit better than any of the preemie clothes that you see this one this is a preemie uh, sleeper and it just it swallows him up but um I know now where I can buy him clothes. This was the only outfit she had under the 14 inch, but you can also ask her to make certain things. I've asked her to make uh, a couple of dresses that for my twin girls. So she's working on that. I'm excited about that. I'll share that with you when they come in. I like the fact that it has the elastic around the ankles. That will keep it from going down over his feet if it's a little long. I love my little Blake. He's so sweet. Yeah. I'm so sweet. Yes, I'm yes. I wanted to buy him a little silicone sister. Um, she's made a 16-inch girl doll. And, um... I wanted to get her, but I just haven't gotten around to getting her yet. I've got to save up some money to do that. But it, oh, it's so cute. It fits him. All right, let's get your little hand in here, buddy boy. See how your shirt fits. Let's get your hand in here and see how your shirt fits. Okay, here we go. Now baby boy oh we baby boy let's get it snapped up here we go lay right there mama snap you up yeah there we go i hope y'all can see him from the angle i use my phone to video with and from the angle that it is i can't tell i can't see Oh my goodness, how cute. 
Yes, she will definitely be getting some more business from me. That fits him perfect. Look how sweet. Mommish baby. All right, let's see if we can comb your hair. You got bed hair, boy. You got bed hair. Yeah. I'm getting it dressed up this morning. Yeah. I'm getting that baby dressed up this morning. There we go. Now then. Now then. There we go. There we go. Now, the dolls that she makes, she does not root them. You can get them at a cheap price. That, uh, that's why I was able to purchase this one in the first place, even though I got it from an individual. Um, I say a cheap price. It's cheaper than, you know, like if you get one custom made or something, like paying $1,000 for it. You know, that, that's not this one. This is a basic silicone doll. She does not root. I bought him a wig and glued it on him. She doesn't root um, the hair or the eyelashes. She does minimum painting, which I have not painted over it. So you see his painting is good. Um, she does a good job painting. Oh, now, I do, like I said, I bought a wig and put on him. And the person I purchased him from rooted him some eyelashes for me. But um, the rest is just like it comes originally. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, I will put the link in the description below. And to me, it seems like I may be wrong. Maybe because I've gotten some fair skin dolls lately. But to me, it seems like he's getting darker. I don't remember him being that dark, but then again, it, like I said, it could be because I've gotten some fair skin dolls lately. But I did want to get another silicone doll from her. I wanted to get that 16 inch, but they're still not cheap, guys. They're still not cheap, but they're not like, you know, the, the regular size silicone dolls. And where they do all the rooting, all the uh, very detailed painting and the eyebrows, eyelashes, and stuff like that. Uh, but they're still not cheap, even at that. So, but I'll have the link below. You can go check that out. So, this here is my last video. Unless someone was to comment that they wanted to see my NPK dolls, this will be the last video showing, I mean not showing my dolls, I'm constantly doing videos, but I'm talking about, I've just been doing kind of like a series of, of showing the different type dolls I have, like the Ashton Drake, the Paradise Galleries, the Reborns, and now my silicone. Um, and like I said, I only have one other type, which is the NPK. Actually, one is the NPK, the other one I don't even know. It's just a knockoff. I don't even know. They didn't have papers with it like NPK actually comes with papers it says an NPK and it has the date of birth and the doll number and you know stuff like that with this last one the boy Tanner that I bought it had a birth certificate but it was not filled out um, it didn't say like a NPK or anything like that on it uh, it was just a, a birth certificate and uh, I actually just threw it away because uh, it, I knew it wasn't any good. I knew it was just a knockoff, so I just threw that away. I didn't fill it out or nothing. But um, if somebody was to comment that they wanted me to do a video on those two dolls, I will. But other than that, I won't. And uh, thank you so much for... Uh, going with me through this series of videos and I like I said, I'm constantly be putting up videos um, Not every day, but I try to put up uh, Two or three a week Sometimes more is according to what's going on, but we'll we'll just see uh, but thank you so much for stopping by my channel and um, Feel free to if you are not a subscriber hit that subscribe button um, Hit that notification bell. I think it still works uh, because I put my channel as, uh, if you know anything about the recent thing with, or 
not too recent, but thing about the children uh, act and all that on YouTube. Um, I put mine as not being for children. So I think you can still hit the subscribe and the um, notification button on my channel. So do that if you can and um, leave a comment. Um, I love to read your comments and I'll do my best to answer them or at least give you a like or love heart um, if I'm real busy and can't take the time to comment. But I will do my best to let you know that I have read your comment. And um, feel free to share my channel on your um, social media. Share it with Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all these other places that you uh, might have social media site uh, accounts with. And share my, my uh, YouTube channel because I'm trying to get more viewers. All right, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I will let you go for now if miss macy my dog will let me up <laughs> all right guys talk with you later